Before we begin, you've probably noticed that this is a little different. Well, we've, what happened was, over the weekend, I lost my voice, and my doctor told me not to speak at all or I might get surgery. So I cannot say a word. Luckily, I have Michael Costa to be my voice for today. His voice might not be as soothing as mine, and he doesn't pronounce the word controversy right, but he'll say everything just the way I was going to say it, including the N-word. <laughs> just joking, he'll be fired before the word leaves his lips. <laughs> now, the reason I lost my voice was, over the weekend, I was back home in South Africa, celebrating my personal hero, Nelson Mandela, at the Global Citizens Festival. And as you saw in last night's show, I was able to catch up with my grandmother, and we talked about our shared memories of growing up as black people under apartheid. It was an experience that meant a lot to me, and to all my South Africans back home, I just want to say, Giabunga! <laughs> That's definitely how you say it. Anyway, we're still going to do the show just like we normally do, so let's catch up on today's headlines. <laughs> nice. You know, if you want to be rich and successful, you have to work hard, like this guy, who's been grinding his whole life all seven years. This mini mogul is the highest paid YouTube star of 2018. Forbes magazine estimates that seven-year-old Ryan earned $22 million from his toy review channel. Well, now Ryan, he's branching out. He's a businessman. Content from his channel will be repackaged and distributed on Hulu and Amazon. He's also launched his own toy and clothing collection. A seven-year-old millionaire. That's not good for anybody, especially him. You know, his parents can't even punish him like a normal kid anymore. They'll be like, you're in big trouble, young man. Go to your house. <laughs> and his teacher will be like, where's your math homework? And he's like, here's some math for you. 100, 200, <laughs> 300. <laughs> Meanwhile, in some bad news, the internet no longer has an infinite number of porn sites. It has infinity minus one. The media posting app Tumblr will permanently ban all adult content from its platform on December 17th. All nudity is banned except for nude classical statues, breastfeeding, and nude political protests. That's right, Tumblr is banning nudity. Although I do like that they make an exception for nude protests. I bet porn is about to become really political just so they can <laughs> stay online. After every money shot, the actress will turn to the camera and be like... <sighs> Register to vote. <laughs> Moving overseas, the president of Nigeria is having an identity crisis. The president of Nigeria is denying rumors that he's been cloned. Mm -hmm. Mohamedou Buhari addressed the speculation in a tweet over the weekend, saying, quote, the ignorant rumors are not surprising. When I was away on medical vacation last year, a lot of people hoped I was dead. In 2017, Buhari spent months in London for treatment. During that time, people online claimed he had died and been replaced with a clone. Even Nigeria's real news sounds like a Nigerian scam emails. <laughs> I'm supposed to do a Nigerian accent here. So, uh, uh, dear sir, uh, I am a real president who is <laughs> trapped in my country because they all think I am a clone. Please send me $10,000. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm sorry. It says that. Now, we're supposed to believe he's not a clone, but I don't know, because you know if the CIA did have that technology, they're gonna test it on an African first. You don't just try that out on rich white people. The CIA chief is gonna be like, this might not work the first time, so find me someone who doesn't matter. The president of Nigeria? Uh, yes, that's perfect. <laughs> and finally, once again, we need to talk about racism in America. Sorry, uh, <clears throat> oh, hello? Oh, no, when? Right now? Uh, right now. Um, I'm on my way, Trevor. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't talk about racism in America right now. I got this really important, real thing I gotta do. Is it cool if just Roy does this part? <laughs> Roy Wood Jr., everybody, come on, get out of here, Roy. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. Hello, everybody. I'm the Trevor Noah now. <laughs> I'm Trevor Noah. I, I, I'm not mocking you. I've just noticed that this accent calms people when discussing race. 
Or would you rather me talk about race like this in this voice? Oh, split the difference. Okay, all right, cool. Well, anyway, here's a story involving a Christmas tree, police, and some pretty shitty stereotypes. Two Minneapolis police officers are on paid leave after allegedly using racist items as ornaments on their precinct's Christmas tree. Public outrage began with viral photos showing a Christmas tree decorated with malt liquor cans, menthol cigarette boxes, and Popeye's Louisiana chicken cups. It's all fun and games now. But when Santa comes down the chimney and finds out that Popeye's cup is empty, he's canceling Christmas for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, hold the f up. Where's my chicken? <laughs> like, I don't know if Santa is coming down your chimney, but best believe my Uncle Derek will smoke the hell out them Newports. <laughs> to be honest, part of me is actually proud of these cops because they clearly took the time to use updated, accurate stereotypes. At least they're getting to know us. I wish all races studied before spewing hate. Hey, say, boy, why don't you get out of here, boy, and go watch your favorite show, season five of Empire, <laughs> specifically the episode where Lucius is losing control of the record label and Cookie called the cops on her nephew. I know what these people like. I know them. <laughs> this is fun.